I'm Patrick Durham with your local CSB 9 News update. About a dozen activists with two gun control advocacy groups dropped off a stack of papers with 13,000 signers at Governor Ron DeSantis' office Tuesday as they urged him to veto a bill that would allow armed classroom teachers. Emma Handley, a Tallahassee High School junior who volunteers with Students Demand Action for Gun Sense in America, asked a DeSantis employee to tell the governor to veto Bill SB 7070 because of a dangerous provision that would expand the school guardian program. The bill, which DeSantis is likely to sign into law, also includes requirements for mental health services at schools, improvements to information sharing between school districts about students' behavioral issues, and more reporting requirements about public safety incidents that happen on school premises. The bill, which passed during the legislative session that ended Saturday, drew opposition from Democrats because it would allow an armed classroom teachers. Coming up next, sports and weather. The NBA draft is right around the corner and the sweepstakes on who is going to be able to draft Zion Williamson is in full swing. There are huge stakes throughout the lottery. Landing the number one overall pick could completely change a franchise. There will be a debate at number two between Murray State's John ja Morant and Duke's RJ Barrett. Multiple teams in the lottery are holding on to protected or traded picks. And of course, teams jumping up in the lottery could swing Anthony Davis trade talks. The New York Knicks, Cleveland Cavaliers, and Phoenix Suns all have a 14% chance of landing the number one pick in this year's NBA draft. Thank you for tuning in to CSB News at 9. Have a great night.